All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to use this wireless remote to hook up some of your lights. So um, I'm doing this per request of one of the comments I got on my other video where I showed my reverse lights on my old truck that were hooked up to this remote. And this little module is about $10 on eBay. And it works pretty good. Um, anyways, I'll just jump in and show you how it all works. So when you open up the cover, there's all these different terminals. So over here on this side, um, if you look underneath right here, that wire, this copper wire over here on the right is ground, and this one right here is positive. Let's see. It says 12 volt and ground underneath them. And then on all your terminals, you have little sections of three. So here is your ground positive, and then one, two, three for terminal one, one, two, three for terminal two, one, two, three for terminal three, and one, two, three for terminal four, which on this remote corresponds to A, B, C, D. So underneath each one of them, I'll come back over here since it's a little easier to see underneath. Turn that a little bit. Here we go. So underneath each one of them, you have a normally closed, common, and normally open. So what these are is normally your common, your center one, um, you'll bridge over here to your 12 volt. So your 12 volt goes into here, over into this one's normally, or common, goes into common, which bridges to this one's common, which bridges over here to this one on common, and which bridges over here to this last one on common. And that's just your power for all of your channels um, from your remote. And then you have normally closed and normally open. So normally open, when you click the button, it will turn on. Normally closed, when you click the button, it will turn off. So as a little demonstration, I've got it hooked up to a power supply. And um, I'm just going to use this little red LED over here. This little section of three, not very big. And I have it hooked straight in over here on this last channel to normally closed. Now, if you're doing this on anything automotive, you'll want to hook this into the switch portion of your relay because this does not put out very much power, so it won't be able to power bigger appliances more than just the LEDs right here. So um, I'm going to turn my power supply on. And when you plug it into 12 volt, this little blue light will be always on. And... Uh, that seems like something that would drain your battery in your car, but it takes very, very, very little current. Um, I left it plugged in this little module current always on like this in my truck for a little over a year and never had the battery die. So anyways, uh, this black wire over here is the antenna. Um, when you put the cover on, it has these lovers across the side that you can just stick it through so that when you close it, the antenna will stick out the side and get better reception. Um, if you have a clear view to the antenna, this will work from... Oh, I think it's it's rated at 400 feet on eBay, but I've the maximum I've gotten it is around... Actually, around like 350, about half a block. I guess, uh, somewhere in that area. So, I mean, it works really far away. But anyways, back to what I was showing you guys. So, uh, so each of these little boxes across the top are relays. So when you click something, you hear that click and the relay turns on. And when you click it again, it turns off. And uh, that's basically what it is. It's just a small circuit relay or a small voltage relay. So my output, again, right here, is coming out all the way over here to my LED. And then I have it grounded with my alligator plug. So, 
and I come over here and I click this, the light turns on. And I click it again, the light turns off. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I'll show you guys again. Come in over here. Ooh, if we can focus. Here we are. So you have your ground, and then your battery positive, always on. Which, I mean, you can put it on a switch, but you can just leave it always on. It won't drain your battery. Then you have uh, your battery positive on all your middles, which is your common. And then the NO, normally open, is where you plug your appliances in that you want to turn on when you click the button. And the easiest way to hook up all the batteries, or all the positives, all the commons, is to bridge from your, from your 12 volt always on, bridge it over to your common, let me bend that down so you can see it. And bridge that over to this common. And bridge that over to this common. And bridge that over to this common. So that just bridges all your positives. And your output will be here on the normally open. And that goes to your appliance. Which, when we click the button turns it right on. So anyways, I hope guys this helps out. Um, if you guys want to see anything else that I've done, just let me know and I can make a quick video like this for you. Uh, thanks for stopping by.